sponsored by I'm on communications. Tice Automotive. Wellman Skating Ring. And Wong Collision Center. This is a presentation of KCRG TV9 Live Events. Join KCRG TV9 in recognizing the hard work all of our graduates have accomplished this year. Congratulations, graduates. Hello, I am Interim Superintendent Dr. Tawana Grover. The Cedar Rapids Community School District is proud to congratulate the class of 2023. It is an honor to recognize the academic achievements of all of our graduates. Each commencement ceremony celebrates the educational journey of every learner to be future ready for new and exciting adventures in lifelong learning. To the graduates of Jefferson, Kennedy, Metro, and Washington High Schools, we say congratulations. congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise as we welcome the class of 2023.
evening. <laughs> Welcome parents, siblings, grandparents, guests, friends, teachers, staff, and district administrators to the 56th John F. Kennedy High School commencement ceremony. To begin our ceremony, I'd like to introduce Kyle Pratt, senior class officer, who will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Good evening, and thank you for being, with you, being here with us tonight. Please join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the national anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please continue standing for the Star Spangled Banner performed by Moonlight Express. You may be seated. Good evening, friends, family, teachers, faculty, and most importantly, the class of 2023. I am Sophia Barbieri, student government president, and I'm beyond honored to welcome you all here tonight. Sitting in our caps and gowns, we can consider this one of the most pivotal moments in our lives. It's a moment full of laughs, tears, inspiration, and congratulations. It's a day that marks the end of our journey from K through 12. This day is the accumulation of 13 years of hard work, perseverance, and most importantly, it marks the entirety of our growth as students. So, to my fellow graduates, we grew up. Until this moment, all we have ever wanted was to grow up. We have been growing since we waited anxiously by our lockers on the first day of kindergarten. Crisscross applesauce on the rainbow carpets, we were eager as our teachers read us picture books. The only thought on our minds was what we were gonna do for recess later or who was gonna be on whose team in gym class. At recess, we saw the fifth graders and stared in awe of how tall and big they were. We yearned to be older, taller, stronger, and wiser, just like them. 
Heck, we hadn't yet a clue that two plus two was gonna turn into the quadratic formula, which, if I'm being quite honest, I still don't remember now. We continued to grow as we were nervous on the first day of middle school about learning to use the locks on the lockers. It was terrifying having different classes throughout the day, different teachers, different students in each class every hour, but in mastering those things, we grew a little more. Topics of discussion at lunch changed from birthday parties and favorite colors to gossip and sleepovers. Gold stars turned into A pluses, and the cool fifth graders turned into even cooler eighth graders. All we ever wanted was to just take that next step. We grew up as we walked the halls of Kennedy for the first time as freshmen. The lockers seemed to have grown a foot taller, and the back to school smell flooded each and every hallway. Apprehensive on our first day, the last bell that day declared that we had done it. We had gotten through our first day as a high schooler. We continued to grow as students as our freshman year was cut short from what was supposed to be a two-week spring break. We wouldn't walk the halls of Kennedy again until halfway through our sophomore year. Raising our hand for a question turned to pressing a hand emoji over Google Meet, only to have technical issues as our question was being answered. Deadlines were stretched, classes were skipped, we were tired, burnt out from being on a computer screen from 7.50 to 2.50. Even so, we continued to grow and persevere through what our eighth grade selves wouldn't be able to imagine. So, as time continued to move on, so did we as junior year felt like a fever dream, at least for me. Football games were given back to us, pep assemblies were held, schoolwork became even more real. As a class, we were able to get back on track for what was to come the rest of our high school years. Our experiences throughout high school proved that life isn't linear, progress isn't linear, and growth most definitely is not linear. We as students and as humans aren't destined for growth in a perfectly straight line. There are steps forward and then some backwards, and that is just how life works. We grew up as resources, recesses turned into study hall releases. One plus four turned into the Pythagorean theorem. Class in person changed to class on a Google Meet and then back. Nap times, well, that hasn't changed, but picture books did turn into chapter books. Now, as we are seated through one of the most pivotal days of our lives, we are closing the final chapter of the book we wrote this year. This day marks the day that our dreams of being grown up have come true. We are grown up. Although we are still growing as humans, preparing ourselves for this next part of our lives, the adversity, hardships, and memories throughout this time together have equipped us for life beyond Kennedy High School. Our experiences here prepared us for the growth to come. Congratulations, class of 2023. We grew up. At this time, I would like to introduce Kate Bowden. Good evening. My name is Kate Bowden and I'm a student government officer. As we have seen and heard tonight, Kennedy High School is blessed to have a great fine arts program. This year, the Kennedy Vocal Program continued their tradition of excellence with Happiness Incorporated, winning grand champion, best vocals, best choreography, best technical crew, and outstanding show design awards this year. Moonlight Express added to their 15 year streak of qualifying for the Iowa Vocal Jazz Championships, finishing in fifth place. Students in orchestra perform a wide array of musical styles and enjoy unique experiences from the fall costume concert to the symphonic rock event. Our orchestra program includes an award-winning full symphony orchestra, a string orchestra, and select string ensembles. This year, the Kennedy Orchestra earned numerous Division I ratings for solo and ensemble performances in state and local music festivals at, and principal 
bassist senior Aaron Renshaw earned the honor of four-year All-State Musician from the Iowa High School Music Association this year, as well as winning principal bass in the Northern Iowa String Teachers Association Honor Orchestra. The Kennedy Band Program had an outstanding school year with many awards and honors during the marching season a jazz band trip to New Orleans, a trip to Florida and Disney, and an excellent showing at the state large group contest with the Wind Symphony earning the top division rating. The band would like to thank its 26 seniors for their time and dedication to the program and the lasting impression they have made on Kennedy bands. Please join me in applauding our Fire Nights program. The band, orchestra, and choir will, will combine to perform Baba Yetu. Following that, the Kennedy Concert Choir will perform This is the Day by Damon Brown. Baba ye tu ye tu li ye mi nu ni ye tu ye tu a mi na baba ye tu ye tu li ye m chi na la ko e le tu ku zwe. Utu pelo chakola che tu, tu na cho hata ja uta same te. Makosa etu Kama nasitu na bora sene Te wali utoko seya Usitu tie Kati kama jari bulakini Utoko we mayule Uro vie mi lele Chacolachetu, tu na cho hata ja uta same, ma cosa e tu e, kama na si tu na boya same, e wali uto kosea, usi tu ti e, kati kama jari bulakini, uto kowe.
Will everyone please rise for the Kennedy alma mater? Everyone, please be seated. Good evening, everybody. Parents, guardians, grandparents, teachers, administration, Kenny the Cougar, families, and class of 2023, I am Brody Gilkison, senior class president. This morning, my dad asked me if I was nervous for the speech, and I told him I don't know who should be more nervous, me or the people seated behind me. But the day is finally here. We are graduating from high school. It seems that not too long ago, we were attempting to log into our school accounts for the first time as a number 23 appeared next to our usernames. At that time, graduation felt like an eternity away. But now, here we are, the John F. Kennedy graduating class of 2023. As we gather tonight to celebrate our accomplishments and the challenges we have overcome, it is important to honor those who have helped us arrive here. I'd like to take this time to share a quote from a wise philosopher from a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Small in number we are, but larger in mind. This reminds us that alone, there is little we can accomplish, but together, we can achieve far more than we ever thought possible. While our, past or while our school is named after a past president, it is the people within John F. Kennedy High School that truly make it an extraordinary place. It's important to recognize the people within our school and all the tremendous sacrifices that they have made to help us become the ambitious and compassionate young adults we are and will continue to strive to be 
no matter the challenges we will surely face. Each of us here tonight has had someone there for us when we needed it most. Perhaps it was a family member, a friend, a teacher, or a coach. They took the time to check in on us, to understand us, and to guide us in the right direction. I ask each of you to think of that someone, but don't stop there. Show your gratitude. Tell them thank you, because you are most likely going to need their guidance again in the future. Then, as you continue to gather experiences and navigate life's inevitable ups and downs, be there for someone in need. As Yoda so eloquently said, be larger in mind. Our class has been through some interesting times. I'm sure most of us remember receiving a call on our freshman year spring break, notifying us that our spring break had been extended. At first, we cheered while our parents probably cried. Then, as we transitioned to virtual learning, we gained unexpected life lessons in the importance of flexibility and adapting to change. It wasn't always easy, but we adapted while wearing our pajamas. Then, as our sophomore year was about to begin, hurricane force winds ripped off our school's roof and classrooms were flooded. We stepped up by volunteering to help neighbors and strangers alike clean up their yards. No matter the circumstance, we persevered, a lesson that will serve us well into our futures. Despite the school being closed for nearly one year during our time in high school, our class has participated in everything from speech, debate, journalism, art, and music, to sports, clubs, and more. Our class ran the fastest cross-country time in school history, won awards for artwork, had an undefeated varsity basketball season, bowled multiple 300s, won show choir championships, and advanced to the eSports Overwatch State Championship, among other achievements. We have had success in all fields. We have had 14 all-state athletes and performers and 72 valedictorians and salutatorians combined. From the playing field to the stage and into the classroom, we have remained, as our favorite activities director says, humble and hungry. This mindset has propelled members from our graduating class to enter the workforce, begin trade apprenticeships, serve our country in the military, and attend college, all while pursuing their passions. As we venture out into the world, forging our 400-some unique paths, we will continue to make a difference. As my favorite 800-year-old philosopher wisely once said, your path, you must decide. Leaving Kennedy and moving on in our lives, remember to share your gratitude, make others feel appreciated, and live with humility. Doing so will feed your hunger to continue to make an impact doing the things you love. We have done that here by supporting our friends and classmates, attending sporting events, music, and theater productions, and by supporting causes we believe in. By embodying what it means to be a Kennedy Cougar and by carrying on the legacy of being humble and hungry, we are destined to do great things. So tonight, let's celebrate our achievements, congratulate our classmates, and thank our supporters. Thank you all for giving me the honor of representing the class of 2023. Congratulations, and as always, go Cougs. It is often tradition at presidential inaugurations, at celebrations for arts and literary accomplishments, and at signature events to select a poet laureate. The poet is commissioned to create and deliver a poem for the event. Kennedy High School also has the tradition of selecting a poet laureate for our commencement ceremony. Please welcome Ethan Thompson and Kaylin Hamilton Bagley 
our poet laureates for the 56th Kennedy High School commencement. <clears throat> Final moments are not final, neither are the decisions leading up to them. As a new dawn crests the beginning of each day, we carry the experience in our minds on repeat. Only for a short second will the finale last. Like a firework, we cherish the short burst of color it gives, the short chapter in our lives forever imprinted in bold colors. As other beginnings end, other endings begin. This book began speaking of a small trek yet it read like it was never ending. Every turn of the page, passing another chapter, we start struggle and strife trying to close the book, not wanting to leave the story on a cliffhanger. As the years elapse into the future, our memories will gray, but not be forgotten. Remembered like old books from the attic, we derive nostalgia from them, leaving them waiting to be read again. The first day started with a golden sunrise. And today, our last day will end with a golden sunset. The light in our lives doesn't fade inside the doors. It refracts in prisms across new green valleys, magnifying, magnifying the, the light to blaze the trails we will walk to our futures. Good evening. I am Micah Yauhainen, Senior Class Officer. Please turn your attention to the monitors as the class of 2023 says thank you. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. I'd just like to extend a thank you to everyone in the science department and all the cafeteria staff. Thank you to Mrs. Bowers and thank you to our awesome band directors. Thank you Mr. Ziegler, Ms. Brunson, and of course, Mr. and Mrs. Horton. And I'd like to thank Coach Pack for teaching me how to lift. Hi, my name is Madison Illich and I'm thanking my mom today because she has always encouraged me to show up to school and get my assignments done and really made me think about my future. Uh, I'd like to thank Ms. Mead, the AP Psych teacher, throughout my sophomore year. And I'd like to thank Barry for all of the trades programs that he does. I just want to thank Ms. Fry and my band directors and my BSU advisors because they helped me through a lot of things this year and are kind of the reason for who I am today. Thank, thank you. you. Stay black. <laughs> all right, I just want to give a thanks to my mom, my dad, and of course, Lester for making who I am. We want to thank Mr. Hollander for giving us the most entertaining U.S. history class ever. And I want to thank Mr. Ziegler for an awesome three years. It's always been my favorite class. Thank you to my parents, my friends, my family, my teachers, and everybody in this building that has helped me become the best that I can be. Um, I would like to thank my parents, my mom, my dad, my teachers. Shout out Steven, shout out Bowers. Um, I'd like to thank my friends for all the memories here at Kennedy and love your parents. I'd like to thank all my teachers, family, and friends for always supporting me and helping me throughout high school. I want to say thank you to Mrs. Bradley and our family because without their help, I wouldn't be able to graduate with Kennedy Class of 2023. I'll forever be grateful to you guys. Thank you so much. I also want to give a special shout out to Mr. Anderson, Ms. Fry, and Ms. Gonzalez for being my favorite teachers and for also having for making that class a safe space for students to go and chill and for being cool teachers. Thank you. I'd like to thank the uh, Best Friends Club upstairs, Heenick, Malico, and Clark. I would like to thank Mrs. Bowers and Senor Gardner for getting me through my four years. I want to thank Mr. Malico for being the best science teacher and helping me discover that I wanted to be a nurse through his anatomy class. I want to thank Senor Gardner and Stevens for being the best teachers. All right, I would like to thank Coach White for helping me get to the college level athletically. I'd also like to thank Coach LeClaire for pushing my wrestling abilities to a level I had never thought they could get to. And I'd also like to thank Ms. Johnson for you know always keeping the parking lot really safe, making sure everyone has their stickers, and just keeping that area really safe around the school. So thank you. Thank you to Becker for being a really cool teacher and just an all-around amazing person. 
Uh, I would li also like to thank Becker. She's just amazing. She's helped me through so much. And then we'd also like to thank Merritt for her class, especially AP Stat was amazing. Absolutely loved everything about it. Thank you, Mr. Malicote, for making the learning experience so much more fun. Thank you to my close friends who have supported and believed in me throughout the years, even when I didn't for myself. I really appreciate you guys helping me out and continue to push me to where I am today. So thank you. Love you. I'd like to thank Ms. Fry for letting us finger paint class. And I'd also like to thank Mrs. LeClaire for helping me learn my future major for college. I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Hunick for all the uh, financial advice and know-how. And I'd like to thank Mr. Ziegler for his uh, expertise with music. I want to thank my mom, who raised me to be the wonderful person that I am, almost by herself. But she did have my family, and I do want to thank them, too. They're great. Every, everyone in my family, even my like found family. Love y'all. And I want to thank my teachers, Ms. Stevens, Ms. O'Connor, Woodhouse. You've all been great for all four years. I would like to thank Mr. Horton, Ms. O'Connor, and Ms. Rubis. Um, and I want to say thank you to Mr. Hunick, Mr. Benedict, and Mr. Ziegler. And we would both like to say thank you to Mr. Evans and Ms. Malone for allowing us to continue our AP Capstone program with only two people. I'd probably like to thank my, uh, first of all, Barry and my uncle probably getting me here. My mom's probably kept me a lot more straight, but uh, I'd like to thank them all that kept me together and through the high school. I would just like to say thank you to my mom and my papa and my grandma and to also Miss O'Connor for bringing me to who I am today. Uh, thank you, Miss Fry, for being a, a very good teacher. And thank you, Miss Ferrante, for like giving me real world experience and like life advice. So thank you. Hey, I'm Dom. And I just want to say thank you to Mr. Heenick for teaching me how to be a better man, teaching me how to be smart with my money. Thank you to Ms. Stevens for being the best science teacher ever and asking about my grandma. Um, thank you to all my coaches, Coach Lewis for making me stronger, Coach Pack for teaching me how to run fast, uh, Coach White for being a good football coach, and thank you to Ms. LeClaire for teaching me how to be an accountant. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Mom and Dad. I'd like to say a big thank you to all my teachers and coaches this past four years, especially Mr. Heenick, Mrs. Rubis, uh, Coach Green, and Coach Rama. Thank you guys all so much. My name is Jaden, and I want to thank my mom and my dad for teaching me to be responsible, but also teach me discipline. My name is Olivia, and I want to thank my mom, my dad, and my brothers for always being there for me and supporting me throughout high school. I would like to thank Mr. Malicote for getting me through one of the hardest years of my life. Um, last year, junior year, and really just pushing me to become a nurse, even though I really thought I couldn't do it, but here I am, so thank you. Um, I just want to thank my mom for pushing me to be who I want to be and who I am, which is why I'm able to dress the way I want, and she's the one that cuts my hair. Miss Brunson for pushing me to do show choir and getting me up into a higher choir class like I would like to and my boyfriend for also helping push me to be the person that I would like to be. I just want to thank my parents, my family, my closest friends, the soccer program and the football program. Thank you. Hey, my name is Jackson Tony, and I'm supposed to graduate in class of 2023. And I'd like to give a shout out to all the, to every single teacher that I've had over the past four years. Um, I want to thank my parents for bringing me here and supporting me through all my decisions. I want to thank my siblings for, you know, making me who I am. Um, I want to thank Heenick for teaching me how to work with my money and also sharing his personal advice for our advice, I guess. And I also want to thank Ms. Fried for listening to all my high school drama. <laughs> I want to thank Ms. McKenney for feeding me lunch every day and making me make sandwiches in her class. And I want to thank my mom because without you, I wouldn't be able to get to this point. That's so sweet. <laughs> I want to thank my parents, um, my friends, and staff members. I want to thank especially Ms. O'Connor, Mrs. McConnell, Mr. B, and Mr. Heenick for being amazing people. And I, I thank I appreciate every one of you. 
Thank you, Mrs. Fleer and Mrs. Williamson, for helping me find my passion in music and giving me a home these past four years. Some of my favorite high school memories have came from you guys in the Kennedy Band Program. And thank you, Mom and Dad, for always supporting me. I'd like to thank Old Man Benny for all the advice and helpful things he's provided me in Student Gov. I'd like to thank Ms. O'Connor for all the life advice she's given me throughout the years. And I'd like to thank my dad for all he's done for me. I'd like to thank Ms. Yannick for helping me throughout senior year and this journey. And I'd like to thank Ms. Collins for helping me out junior year and also this journey. I want to thank my mom. She was my biggest motivation and she's the reason why I'm passing my senior year. Um, I'd like to thank um, my homeroom teacher, Mrs. Ashby. Um, she really drove me when it came to my schoolwork and really pushed hard on me when it came to that also. And I'd also like to thank my mom. Um, without your love and determination, this would be possible. I'd like to thank all my teachers, family. I'd like to thank my family for always pushing me to the best of my abilities, always supporting me, getting me through anything. And I'd also like to thank Coach Bova, my tennis coach. You know, he's always got the best advice. He's always pushing me at practice, making me a better person, better tennis player. Wouldn't be the same without him. Thank you, Rowdy. I would like to thank Barry for always staying by there for all of the electric car races and dealing with everyone's craziness. And then I would also like to thank Miss Fry for always sticking by my side. And then another person I would like to thank is my Nana for always staying there with me. Thank you, Crowley. Thank you, Mrs. Fleer, for always being there for me and being the best teacher ever. Uh, thanks, Ms. Rubis, for being so awesome and getting me through math class and Coach Lewis. Uh, thank you to Ms. Gonzalez for always being there for me and being the best teacher for the past two years. And I also want to say thank you to Coach Lewis for the past four years. At this time, I would like to ask all the salutatorians to please stand. To earn the distinction of salutatorian, a graduate must earn a collective grade point average of 4.0 to 4.164. With our system of weighted grades for advanced placement courses and the opportunity to earn plus or minus with a letter grade, it is possible to accumulate a grade point beyond the 4.0. It takes dedication to academics to do so. Congratulations to the 38 salutatorians of the Kennedy Class of 2023. You may be seated. And now please welcome Cassie White, Student Government Officer. Good evening. I have the honor of introducing the valedictorians for the class of 2023. Will our 37 valedictorians please stand? It takes tremendous commitment to academics to earn the status of valedictorian. Each of these students has earned at least a 4.165 cumulative grade point average. A 4.165 is between the letter grade of A and A+ as was stated in the introduction of salutatorians. A score above 4.0 is possible with weighted grades in the plus and minus system. These 37 students have reached an admirable goal in earning the distinction of valid Victorian. Audience, please join me in congratulating our valid Victorians. You may be seated. At this time, I would like to introduce Carter Fitzgerald, the member of our class with the highest grade point average, who will give the Valid Victorian address. Uh, hey everyone, I'm Carter Fitzgerald, if you haven't guessed already. Buckle up, I'm here to give yet another speech, but first, a few shout outs. Uh, thank you to my mom and my dad for always being by my side. Thank you to my friends and my teachers for always pushing me outside my comfort zone. 
I'd also like to extend a thank you to Mr. Klein, even though he vetoed all the paid advertisements I tried to put in this speech. But even through the turmoil of this year, Klein has remained a reliable and resilient part of our school. Some might even go as far to say that he's as reliable as Copperfit's new line of energy sport ankle socks, which are now available for only $14.99. Now, I was instructed to do two things tonight, reflect on the last four years and look forward into the future. I'm here to do neither. I know nothing of the struggles and triumphs of your past. I'm not going to stand up here and pretend that I do. <laughs> um, I also won't be discussing our futures given that I'm not a fortune teller. I wouldn't want to meddle with your plans anyway. The last thing I need is some vengeful classmates coming to even the score with me after I derailed their lives with some advice I cooked up on a $30 Chromebook. So no, I'm not going to talk about the past, and I'm not going to talk about the future. I'm simply going to talk about the present. Throughout most of my life, I lived in a state of indifference. Try as I might, I couldn't conjure up some grand purpose to motivate me. Instead, I was driven by hope, the hope that whispered, just get through these two weeks, then you'll be happy. The hope that promised, of course, Carter, a revelation of meaning is just around the corner. This was not the hope with feathers. No, this was a poisonous, conditional hope. Again and again, it placed happiness and fulfillment just out of reach, and for all intents and purposes, I had postponed living. So in those days, when I sat silently on the school bus home, leaning my head against that rumbling window, when that unprompted concoction of doubt and melancholy washed over me, I did nothing. The world stared me down, and I cowered. Instead of facing my present, I sought refuge in that notion, that mirage of a future where everything sorts itself out. But now, I may have no experience or mysterious wisdom to offer you all, but I'm not going to let that stop me. So for the remainder of my time up here, if you guys could imagine me as a sage 70-year-old man, I'd greatly appreciate it. Anyway, the present. For those of you who find yourself dejected, those without purpose, those in circumstances of physical suffering, I'm not asking you to reject hope. What I am asking you to do is to live in defiance of your pain and confusion. I'm asking you to live here, to live now. When you find yourself without meaning, when the weight of it all comes crashing down, you won't slink into cowardice and escapism. No, you'll abandon the idea that you need to make sense of this horrific, wonderful world. That is real freedom. That is real presence. But too often, I want to think. I want to avoid the present moment and lose myself in my own mind. But somehow, even in the deepest depths of despair and nihilism, I can't help but feel the pull of the reality around me. I can't help but acknowledge the streaming sunlight breaking through the trees. I can't ignore the brush of the wind or the sight of a smile. I can't help but feel something, and all the logic in the world can't seem to refute it. I guess I'm going to issue one final high school assignment to you all. Save the future for later. Be here with me tonight. Thank you. And with that, I'd like to welcome senior class officer, Reagan Murphy.
Words cannot express the tremendous loss much of our community has endured throughout our four years at Kennedy. The loss of classmates, faculty and staff, friends, family and relatives has left a memorable mark on our experience here. At this time, please join me in a moment of silence to honor those who have passed and cannot be here with us tonight. Thank you. I would now like to introduce another member of our senior council, Aiden McGrain. As the class of 2023 celebrates this milestone of graduation, we have nine staff members also celebrating a graduation of sorts as they retire from Kennedy. We would like to take this opportunity to say goodbye and thank you for their service. Mrs. Baber has worked for 27 years for the Cedar Rapids District, 15 of those years as technology facilitator here at Kennedy. Mrs. Baber is the one you called when your computer broke down or when you needed a charger or when you couldn't remember your password. Every summer, she's gotten the building ready, setting up computers, phones, copy machines, and printers. One memory that stands out for her is coordinating the distribution of 1,800 Chromebooks the first year all students got a device, when we were all freshmen. Words of wisdom from Mrs. Baber. Be a lifelong learner, work hard, and good things will happen along the way. Mrs. Bradley has taught ELL at Kennedy for the past two years, but has been, been an ELL teacher in the district for 14. Her first teaching experience after graduating from UNI in 1989 was with the Peace Corps in Belize, Central America. After retiring, she will be returning to Belize and the Peace Corps to work with the Ministry of Education to implement a new literacy program, keep up her Spanish skills, and reconnect with friends from 30 years ago. She's grateful for her time at Kennedy, the many things she has learned from those she worked with and hopes our paths will cross again someday. Thank you, Mrs. Bradley, for inspiring us. Mrs. Fogel began working at Kennedy in 1995 as a paraeducator. She got her degree and before coming back to Kennedy as a special education teacher, where she has been for 11 years, she was also curriculum facilitator and associate director of special education. In her retirement, she hopes to travel to places she has taught about, spend more time with her grandchildren, and continue volunteering in the community. Her favorite quote comes from the story of a little girl who was throwing starfish into the ocean, one at a time, to save them. She's told to quit since she can't possibly save them all. As she tosses another one in, she replies, it made a difference to that one. Thank you for making a difference in many students' lives. Our next three retirees have worked in the math department for a total of 94 years. In addition to teaching math, Mr. Hoyer has also been our head baseball coach. While he enjoys coaching and hopes to continue, his favorite part of his time at Kennedy was when his kids were students here and he got to come to school every day with them. In retirement, Mr. Hoyer hopes to continue doing some tutoring, hunting with his dogs, seeing his kids more often, and doing whatever he feels like doing. A motto he shares with us today, keep the main thing the main thing and don't sweat the small stuff. We look forward to continuing to see Coach on the field. Mrs. Rubis began teaching math at Kennedy right here after she graduated from college. She took a break, but came back to Kennedy when her youngest started school. She has felt fortunate to be here and leaves with wonderful memories of all the students she has had in class and the friendships she has made with staff. She's looking forward to spending time with her family, especially her grandchildren. She plans to stay healthy mentally and physically with walks and good books. Her dream is to take a trip to the Holy Land. Bon voyage, Mrs. Rubis. Like Mrs. Rubis, Mr. Heenick, first and only teaching possession here has been at Kennedy. He loves it when he runs into an ex-student and they tell him about what is going on in their lives. Having a positive impact on someone has always been the best reward. After his last day, he will be moving to Tennessee, where he plans to golf a lot, go hiking with his wife and dogs, spend a lot of time on the lake, enjoying the good weather, and continue teaching math in Chattanooga. One piece of advice from Mr. Heenick. Mix a little foolishness with your serious plans. It is lovely to be silly at the right moment. Mr. Jensen came to Kennedy in 2001 to teach science and cross country. His favorite memories include students making mozzarella cheese and root beer from scratch. 
handing out 1,320 wildflowers from the greenhouse in the spring of 2021 and watching small, frail freshman girls become strong, confident, brave senior cross-country runners. He's starting his retirement by working this summer for the Relief Project with Trees Forever. His favorite quote is, don't just go where your dream is, go where you have the skills to realize the dream. Mrs. Nebaker has kept us all well-fed as the cafeteria manager here at Kennedy. Mrs. Nebaker was a graduate of Kennedy in 1980 and has worked here for 27 years. She says she has truly enjoyed her time here at Kennedy, but is looking forward to gardening, spending time with her family, and enjoying life. The words of wisdom she leaves with us are short, sweet, and powerful. Always be kind. Thank you, Mrs. Nebaker, for showing us kindness and taking care of us all. And now, please welcome Student Government Officer Madison McCarty. I have the honor of introducing the Cedar Rapids Community School District Board of Ed and Board of Education and members of the Executive Council who are with us this evening. School, more, school board members devote countless volunteer hours to our school. They deal with a myriad of issues overseeing our district. We appreciate your investments in our education. Please join me in thanking our board member, and especially Ms. Jen Bordishing and Ms. Marcy Roundtree, who has joined us this evening. As with the Board of Education, the school district's central administrative team works diligently to maintain the quality of our schools. Please join me in welcoming Executive Director of High School, Cynthia Phillips. Ms. Phillips supports all aspects of high school education in our district and is an instrumental in the planning of the next school year. <laughs> next, I'd like to introduce Deputy Sup Superintendent Nicole Quaker. Ms. Quaker is re responsible for direct administrative supervision of Office of Learning and Leadership, supporting learning from K through 12 to, through 12th grade. And I am pleased to introduce Cedar Rapids Community School District and term soon to be superintendent, Dr. Twana Grover. Dr. Grover champions improving early literacy, growing school and career pathways and developing in district school choice options to ensure all students reach their highest potential. We are honored to have you here. <laughs> Dr. Grover, I would like to welcome you to say a few words to our graduating class. Thank you. Would you all help me celebrate these student speakers here tonight and our performers from earlier? What beautiful presentations. Tonight, we would like to express our gratitude to all the parents, families, friends, neighbors, and community members who have supported our scholars on their educational journey. Your unwavering encouragement has been invaluable to them. We appreciate your contributions and feel very fortunate to have you as partners. Our scholars could not have made it this far without your kindness and your generosity. On behalf of the Cedar Rapids School District Board of Education and its leadership team, we say thank you. Now let me speak to our scholars. One day when I was walking out of Kennedy High School, your administrators, they gifted me with a t-shirt that said, Uncommon. I'm not quite sure how you use that theme here at Kennedy, but for me, it sent a powerful message. Your generation embodies exceptional values for the greater good, characterized by your social engagement as well as your technological savviness and your intellect. You have a unique perspective marked by open-mindedness, empathy, and acceptance, and have been fighting tirelessly for a better future. Your generation is truly uncommon. As a Kennedy Cougar, 
you know that your athletics, activities, and academics have been part of that which defines your school. And wow, have you had an incredible year, as been stated here tonight. Your competitive spirit has brought your school to new heights, and your pep rallies are known throughout the nation for their electrifying energy and daring competitions. Who wouldn't want to be a part of that? I remember when I attended the pep rally and noticed the unforgettable spirit that roared throughout Kennedy. Your specific achievements and your school status, along with your confetti showers, it gives you bragging rights. However, throughout my time here, I have also come to appreciate Kennedy's scholars for much more than that. Your deep sense of your unwavering dedication and your genuine, uncommon way that you support each other and your community is infectious. I had the pleasure and the honor of meeting with about 50 of the students here at Kennedy and I was quite impressed. Your deep respect for service learning was admirable. Kennedy has a distinctive culture that reaches and extends its arms to great extents, whether it's involved in the best buddies or your leadership class or your black student union. Your leadership is exhibited throughout the community. So embrace your uncommon traits let them guide your actions and stay empowered with your uniqueness. Being uncommon is like sometimes being illogical, believing in something even when others do not. It's been said that believing it is so, even when it's not so, that it can be so. So to be illogical, it isn't to be crazy, is to be dangerously free, courageous, and the version of yourself the world needs you to be. So believe that it can be so. Be the version of yourself the world needs. Strive to be uncommon in your interactions with others as you continue to go out into the world and show compassion beyond the walls here. Be uncommon in your professional pursuits, in your relationships, as well as your families. Embrace your competitive nature and never apologize for it. Allow your drive to propel you to achieving uncommon greatness. Embrace social change, entrepreneurship, service, kindness, and yes, your uncommonness. As you embark on your post-graduation journey, I fully believe in your ability to make remarkable progress and achieve great things. Whether your path goes to whatever distance it may take you out into the world, I know that you are the uncommon generation. You are the generation that can take us from just simply surviving to uncommonly thriving. Congratulations to the graduates of 2023 here at Kennedy High School. You are indeed future ready. All right, you can all just applaud for your graduate.
Uh, thank you, Dr. Grover, for that very wonderful speech. That was, that was fantastic, and we're very fortunate to have you as our new leader here in Cedar Rapids. Uh, and I want to join everyone again in welcoming you to our school district. A couple of things before I begin. Uh, Carter, I want a cut of whatever revenue you got from that ad you slipped in. And I also just want to make sure everyone understands that Brody Gilkison was hypnotized at post-prom. Okay. Now that we laid all that out, quick little speech from me. I do want to take a few minutes tonight to speak to you, but I have a few things I want to say. I have some goodbyes to say to some very important people here. Some of them you know and some of you don't. So I'm just going to say them. First, to our Executive Director of High Schools, Mrs. Cynthia Phillips, I want to thank you and your, for your four years of support of Kennedy High School students and staff. Your mentorship and guidance has been invaluable to me personally, and I thank you for it. Mrs. Phillips will become the Superintendent of Independent School District in July, and we wish her the very best on her next journey. Next, I hate to have to do it, but I have to say goodbye to Mrs. Jessica Johnson. Mrs. Johnson is being promoted to the principalship at Harding Middle School. She is an incredible leader, and I know she will be fantastic in her new role. I will miss her laugh, and I will miss the evil eyes she gives me when I am being ridiculous. Jess, thank you for your tireless effort and incredible spirit in the last three years at Kennedy. Finally, I'm going to say goodbye to, to a man who's going to not like me saying this, but I'm going to do it anyway, to Mr. Kennedy High School himself, Aaron Stecker, who's taking on a role with Bound and going to be working to help other school districts and other schools develop activities programs as strong and deep as ours. Aaron Stecker, you have left an indelible mark on our athletes, artists, performers, coaches, and our entire school community. And I won't try to embarrass you too much any further, but I will personally miss your incredible energy, and your passion, your counsel, and your friendship. Thank you for all that you have done for Kennedy and our district. You have left Kennedy better than you have found it. All the adults that I just mentioned have done incredible things to leave their mark on places that they have worked. And yet, and the work they've done is very important, and yet they all started exactly where you are today. And I know that they will tell you that as much as they are proud of the accomplishments that they have made, the page won't turn, or it's missing. No, there it is. <laughs> They consider the job that they have done raising their own children to be a much higher priority for them. Tonight, your parents, guardians, grandparents, and others who have helped raise you are watching or watching you on TV are watching you with such incredible joy and happiness and sadness, a real bit mixed bag of emotions. I'm reminded of a scene from the TV show Modern Family, where Jay, the patriarch of the Pritchard clan, talks about the real challenge of parenthood, watching your children grow up. He tells us, quote, you know, it's a thing. The thing about babies, you, you fall in love with a baby with the cutest little fat roll folds, and then, bam, they're gone. But it's okay, because in their place is a toddler with the greatest laugh on earth. And then one day, the toddler's gone. But again, it's okay because in its place is a little kid that asks the most interesting questions you've ever heard. And this keeps going on like that, but you never get a chance to miss any of them because there's always a new kid to take, a pl take the place of the old until they grow up. And then, in a moment, all of those kids you fell in love with walk out the door at the same time. 
I guess my point here is you're probably feeling a lot of emotions today. But the folks up there and watching you on TV are probably feeling something too. Be kind to them because it is truly a joy but equally a real loss to watch your baby walk out the door. And I think if there's any advice left for me to impart to you tonight, it's this. That as you move on to adulthood, your legacy will largely be determined not by grandiose accomplishments, but rather the small things you do for the people closest to you in your life. If you ever listened to announcements, and I know you didn't, you would know that I have, sign I have a sign off with one simple phrase, treat each other with kindness and respect. There's nothing special about that, yet it is something that we all struggle with from time to time. One of the greatest people I ever met in my life was Noreen Bush, our former superintendent. Noreen didn't struggle too much with kindness and respect, at least not outwardly. She exemplified kindness and she exuded respect, always. She was a brilliant and insightful leader who accomplished incredible things in all that she did. But it was in the small things that she really made her impact. As I am sure Dr. Grover has learned, trying to run a complicated organization like Cedar Rapids Community School District is not easy. There's a lot going on. Yet Noreen, even in the throes of absolutely draining and painful cancer treatments, was always present for her employees and students. Her kindness and her respect for others manifested in small, personal interactions that she had with every employee and every student she got to spend time with. In those daily connections with us, we were moved by her. Poet Maya Angelou once wrote, people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. No one will ever forget how Mrs. Bush made them feel. She made an effort to know something about everyone, to connect to them in real ways. She made people feel cared for and appreciated. And though I don't think we will readily forget all she did for us, both personally and professionally, it is how she made us feel that really made the difference. Mrs. Bush liked to call this being a hope spot. She spoke of it in her speech on this stage last year. She reminded people that no matter your station in life, you can be a place of hope, a center for joy to others, if you choose to. And it is a choice. It is not in the spectacular things you do or accomplish, nor the largesse that you may accumulate, but rather how you choose to live your life, how you choose to treat people that will determine your legacy. We all have an opportunity to make others feel loved. We have an opportunity to help people feel respected. We all have the opportunity to be a hope spot. So as you walk out that door, as your parents and loved ones watch their infant, toddler, kindergartner, middle schooler, and finally the young adult all leave together, please remember to give them a little longer, longer hug than you might otherwise. They are losing something precious even though they may not be willing to openly confess it. They have been your hope spot for 18 years and now you have the chance to be theirs. They will be very proud of your accomplishments and continue, that you continue to make throughout your life. They won't forget them, but like everyone else, the real impact of the life you live will be how you make the other people feel. For everyone in your life, I implore you to choose kindness and respect. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to welcome up to the podium Mrs. Lori Mead. Ladies and gentlemen, please practice courtesy and respect for all of our graduates. Every parent and guest here would like to hear their child's name, so we ask that you hold applause and noisemaking until all students have been acknowledged. Ms. Roundtree, Mrs. Borcherding, and Interim Superintendent Dr. Grover, the following students have met or exceeded 
the requirements for a Cedar Rapids Community School District diploma through their study at John F. Kennedy High School. Please come forward as I call your name. Cole Adams. Evan Adams. Krishna Adhikari. Addison Alber. Annie Axine. Jeremiah J. Bacom. Ella Baker. Sophia Barbieri. Grant Barnes. Tyler Bartles. Ethan Bartling. Cody Bars. Amelia Basler. Avery Basquin. Nora Bass. Nathaniel Beatty. Natalie Bauer, Bryn Beeman, Aiden Beck, Sean Beck, Donald Becker, JC Bedell, Jacob Beankin, Calvin. Bell, Owen Bennett, Jackson Berry, Ashlyn Blockus, Caden Boning, Julian Bong, Dakota Boots, Kate Bowden, William Bowden, Adeline Bauer, Dylan Bauer, Sunny Bowers, Grace Claire Braden, Annabelle Bradley, Ian Burrock, Gwendolyn Canny, Olivia Cantonwine Zock, Gabrielle Carrillo, Cameron Chafee, Grace Champenois, Ariana Chesmore, Alexa Chihawk. Raylan Schutz, Madison Clark, Matthew Clark, Alexander Damaris Cole Clay, Silas Cody, Jaden Coker, Eva Cook, Aaliyah Maya Cooper, Kit Cordes, Jonah Covington, Cameron Cox, Kyle Thomas Crock, Carly Clarissa Cronball, 
Grace Cummings, Gage Davidson, Natalia Davidson, Aiden C. Davis, Hannah Davis, Sam Davis, Jordan Delgado, Ian Dietrich, Maxwell Dieter, Will Dively, Colby Dolphin, Lucas Dolphin, Rowan Donalds, Jacob Donahue, Landon Doherty, Landon Douglas, Trayton Duffy, Natalie Dunn, Katherine Nelta Earl, Caleb Eaton, Lily Erishman, Madison Elledge, Stetson Elliott, Samuel Erickson, Reagan Ernst, Noah Evans, Tyler Evans, Christian Everson, Greenlee Fawcett, Vincent Ferguson, Adrian Fernandez, Sailor Kennedy Faring, Ramon Figueroa, Carter Fitzgerald, Chloe Flender, Mara Fluent, Jack Fowler, Andrew Frank, Carter Fredrickson, Raymond Freund, Alejandra Fuentes, Brody Gilkison, Elizabeth Goff, Alexander Goodall, Robert Gooden, Selah Gordon, Olivia Gosling, Lexa Grader, Nia Graff, Wynne Greenlee, Zach Guffey, Annie Harz, Kaylee Hageman, Dagny Hall, Kimberly Halverson, Jackson Hamblin, Kaylin Hamilton Bailey, Nick Hand, Aiden Hansen, Jimmy Hansen, Kenny Heitbrink, Megan Heinrich, Madison Herdliska, Jack Hermson, Eric Hernandez, Sean Hessen, Jasmine Jean Height, Ryan Homestead, Caden Holtai, 
Abigail Simone Hopp, Bianca Hopson, Jacob Horton, Courtney Hubble, Abigail Hume, Alexander Hume, Molly Eisenbeis, Abigail Ingraham, Ellie Claude Irincunda, Nevea Jackson, Micah Aaron Yauhiainen, Maggie Jellison, Quinn Jensen. Aaron Johnson, Abigail Johnson, Terrell Leroy Johnson Jr., Brecklin Jones, Samuel Jorgensen, Jumi Joy. La Wings Kabula, <laughs> Kaylee Keeney, Ethan Keller, Maxton Keppel, <laughs> Colin Kinney. Tanea Klett, Cleo Kobliska, Mason Koch, Emma Keppen, Kelsey Koltoff, Colton Kronfeld. Cade Krause, <clears throat> Emma Krause, Avery Kuchera, Christine Elizabeth Kula, Charlie Kunstorf. Bryce Landewitt, Carson Lang, Meredith Langton, Bella Larson, McKenna Lemke, Juliana Loana Ayala, Samantha Loney, Amisi Lobosha, yeah. Ella Lyons, Ike Lyons, Hayden Moss, Aruna Magar, Buchanan, Maine. Avinash Malde. Asia Mali. Dominic Mann. Manuel Marcos. Olivia Markham. Aiden Martin, Molly Martin,
Christopher Martin Trainer. Tyler Martino. Miriam Lee Martsky. Madison Maxa. Avalon May. Tiernan McAdam, Madison McCarty, Nat McCord, Emiana McDaniel, Aiden McGrain, Kayla Meisinger, Nolan Melsha. Max Meyer, Andrew Myers, Renee Mikalek, Ella, Eliz Ella Elizabeth Ella Grace Mickelson, Tyler Myers, Aiden Miller, Casey Miller. Nicholas Miller, Janelle Miner, Jaden Miskimen, Siham Mohammed, Hickens Monu, Trevor Montgomery. Adeline Moore, Chelsea Moore, Nathan Moran, Brooklyn Moran, Ethan Morning, Savannah Morris, Katie Morton. Michael Mulherin, Emma Munson, Reagan Joanna Murphy, Abdi Musa, Misi Muse Miller. Cassandra Musil, Riley Musial, Kundai Muyadi Musque, Jaden Myers, Hayden Nanez, Tuisenge Evangeline. Rylan Nebview, Carter Newhouse, Kieran Wynn, Lucy Nemeth, Miranda Norgillen, Jantine Zoe Carrera. Beatrice Odor, Jacob O'Shea, Charlotte Ottomaller, Jocelyn Ozarowitz, Colin Palmer, Janessa Papini. Grace Park, Riley Parker, Luke Patterson, T. 
Timothy Pegum. Ryan Perez. Lenise Perkins. Dakota Petinari. Carden Pham. Avery Pins. Emma Pins. Ella Justine Plehall. Hannah Semiha Poppy. Alexis Powell. JC Powell. Riley Powell. Ava Powers. Lily Pram. Kyle Pratt. Kalia Prime. Haley Rackle. Fernando Ivan Ramirez. Jamin Randall. Mackenzie Jeremiah Reed. Kat Real. Aaron Renshaw. Kalia Grace Richards. Ashlyn Ring. Jackson Robinson. Tavares Robinson. Juana Rodriguez. Marco Rodriguez Balderez. Catherine Nancy Rohrholm. Thomas Rohrholm. Madison Rotman. Ainsley Ruley. Angelina Lee Rupert. Micaiah Russo. Dante Ryan. Austin Satchel. Kalia Sane. Edgar Sanchez. Braden Sanders. Avery Sanford. Darren Michael Sherman. Alan Schmickley. Keaton Schulte. Lauren Semph. Caden Centers. Shana Searcy. Trevor Shanley. Ethan Shaw. Jocelyn Sheely. Ariana Sherwood. Kylie Ship. Honest Siddiqui. Jackson Slater. Aaron Slaymaker. Gracie Slaymaker. Donovan Slick Driscoll. Michael Slifka. Alyssa Smirker. Asher Smith. Julia Smith. Matthew Patrick Smith. Elizabeth Snedeker. For Lynn Bernat Soriano. Joshua W. Soto. 
Nikki Spore. April Staley. Evelyn's Caden Stambol Wolner. Aiden Stark. Tristan Steichen. Riker Stelling. Drayton Stevenson Bowman. Catherine Stone. Leighton Storer. Markel Strait. Lynn Stewart. Kieran Sullivan. Tiernan Bowie Sullivan. Ellis Swires. Caitlin Takis. Nirjala Tamong. Laney Tedershaw. Jackson Tawney. Nolan Temple. Samicha Thapa. Drake Thick. Kiara Simone Thomas. Ethan Thompson. Cade Thorstenson. Annalise Tone. Lene Top. Carson Torrey. Jaden Triplett. Jordan Twitty. Jacob Twombly. Addison Marie Yeruthia. Zebulon Lee Usher. Brody Vogel. Ethan Wagner. Marshawn Walker. Andrew Walton. Erica Weber. Mandy Weiss. Kalith, Kalis Wells. Emma Welsh. Gabe Wenzel. Taylor Whitten. Cassie White. Sydney White. Autumn Rose Whitfield. Aiden Wick. Ian Wick. Nicholas Weiss. Kaden Wild, Katie Wilkes, Grace Wilhelm, Jeannie Williams, Miles Wilson, Miles W. Woolrab. Seth Benton Woods. I'm sorry. Seth Benton Woods.
Lillian Sayasuk. Rachel Young. Noah Yonke.
Life and Local is proudly sponsored by Imon Communications. Tice Automotive. Wellman Skating Ring. And Wong Collision Center.